And it's always nice to have a piece of good news. Not unexpectedly, Texas has passed constitutional carry, allowing legal firearm owners to carry handguns without having to get a permit, becoming the 20th state to do so. Several states passed similar bills this year, including Tennessee, Utah, and Iowa, and Montana and Wyoming expanded the ability to carry without a permit. It's being considered in Pennsylvania and Ohio, and it passed in Louisiana, but is likely to be vetoed by Governor John Bell Edwards. These bills come in the wake of record gun sales, including in unfriendly states like California, in the wake of the COVID pandemic and the Black Lives Matter riots. Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed the law over the objections of badge-wearing thugs and their apologists who say that this will endanger the public and police, even though statistics consistently show this to be untrue, as we've covered numerous times. Ari Freilich, State Policy Director of the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence, whined, quote, This is about creating a profitable culture of fear and do-it-yourself armed security, and there is no evidence that these laws promote public safety. But for the gun control nut bars like him, how is accusing other people of creating a culture of fear anything but confession through projection? The gun control nuts once again point to mass shootings and once again ignore how easily mass shootings are foiled by armed citizens being present at the time, such as Maya Friedberg of Students Demand Action who whinged, quote, This callous and reckless bill is an insult to every Texan who has been affected by gun violence. They'll likely continue on full chicken little mode and ignore the fact that their predictions of disaster and apocalypse have not come true in the other constitutional carry states I mentioned. They also ignore the fact that it only applies to people who can legally possess a gun to begin with, People prohibited from owning a firearm due to a criminal record or mental illness adjudication are still prohibited from carrying. But you'd never know that from listening to the gun control crazies. Of course, we've even had lefties opining falsely that the law only applies to white people, ignoring the fact that it will lead to fewer bogus police stops and arrests. Constitutional carry may well be the case in half the states in the country by the end of the year. It should be in all of the states by default. That's what it means to have a constitution, but at least things are trending in the right direction. 